So I'm going to be going over the breeding of uh, chickens, or at least what I've found of it. And um, I just couldn't barely find anything online about it, so I figured I better at least uh, tell what I know. So what you're going to see up at the top of the page is some genetic codes for just a couple breeds. And the basics of the genetic codes are they're compiled of two different parts. The first two letters are going to be the ground of the bird. So this one here is a silver lace wine dot, which is like incorrect terminology because actually it's a white feather base with black marking. So that's why it's like this. The silver, which is represented by two large S's, is the ground. And then the marking, which is that black lacing, is represented by two little B L's. So that's how they compile the different genetic codes. And now I wrote on red, like you see here, the D is because S plus S plus is a gold color, and the D just stands for darkening. Because a gold um, chicken is a lot lighter than a red on red, that's because these have the darkening factor in their base. And the black tail and the black around the neck on a red on red is what um, gives it the black marking color. The only bird that doesn't have any marking color is a buff Orpington. They're 100% pure buff. So with the wine dots, there's a blue laced wine dot, and the blue color is compiled from a big BL and a little BL. Now that is how you get the blue color. It's made from splashed plus black. And as you can see in this Punnett square, I filled it out for if you bred a blue laced red wine dot rooster and hen. Both of them are blue laced red wine dot. So what I did was I filled out the table. So when you're breeding with a hen and a rooster, the hen, her second base color will just be a dash and then it gets filled in. But you only have a 50% chance of getting a blue base and 25% of splash, 25% black but 100% red base. If there's any more questions, just a comment.